All right, guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we are about to go over a crap ton of stuff. And when I mean a crap ton of stuff, I mean Shantoro's rework, her BT+, Makina's rework, his BT+, and Payne's rework, and her LD ability. There's a few things that we now know that I was curious about that, we've, that we do have now that all of the information on her LD ability is out. So we're going to go over everything in this video and what I'm going to be doing so that you don't have to waste any time. And if you just want to focus on, like, say, one character or just wanting wanting to know like the information on a certain character i'm going to be putting timestamps because this video is potentially going to be long because there is a lot to go over with what it got released tonight so as always if you do enjoy the video consider liking the video and subscribing for future Opera Omnia content. Let's start off with Shantoro and her rework. Her Crystal Level 55 Awakening. So originally, whenever you use her Elemental Magic Arrow or Rage Arrow, uh, she will grant herself a Max Braver. Well, that changed. She now grants herself a six action buff called the Peerless Power. The Peerless Power gives her an 80% Max Braver, a 20% Attack Up, and a 20% Stolen Brave, Max Brave Overflow up. And it also merges the Max Brave up from the Elemental Magic Arrow and the Rage Arrow into Peerless Power. So I, it's interesting that they changed up uh, uh, a a buff or like what she originally had into this now new peer, Peerless Power buff, which is fine. I mean, you know, that because she's getting more out of it now instead of just the Max Brave up. Uh, her crystal level 60 awakening, which is the dark magic bio extend. When you're using rage bio and turns into a four hit dark magic brave plus HP attack dealt twice. And it also got an increase to the brave potency. Now for her LD board, the blue blooded black mage extend. She gets an extra usage now to her salvation scythe. So originally it was at three uses. Now it's at four. That's that's. That's great, actually. Um, when the battle begins, it inflicts the Accursed Gaze debuff to all enemies for two actions. When she is in Rage Mode, she gets a 30% Elemental Weakness Brave Damage dealt up, which is nice. And then when you are using the Salvation Scythe, it turns into a 5-hit Dark AoE Magic Brave plus AoE HP attack dealt two times which is awesome so i really like that though the fact that they gave her an extra usage to her ld ability is is rather nice i i didn't uh, you know <laughs> there's really not much for me to say i'm actually pretty surprised that they did that uh Shantoto's bt plus weapon is now a 10 hit dark aoe magic break plus single target hp attack dealt twice when it gets a single target increased brave damage still by 60 percent nothing new after her last hp attack she recovers brave to herself based off 50 percent of the total hp damage dealt the max brave damage cap up is increased to 250 percent or 34,996. damn she can do that much brave wow okay uh, the max obtainable Brave and max HP damage cap up increased to 400% or 499,995. It triggers the following burst effects uh, for six actions. The party receives a 100% elemental weakness Brave damage dealt up. I like that. That is good. Uh, she also enchants the party with Dark. Ooh. Did she do that before? I can't remember. Um... 50% max brave damage cap up or up to 14,998 and 50% stolen brave max brave overflow up and the same character's burst effects will not stack. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> uh, her BT plus limit break passive. So if you throw a book at her, uh, her, let's see, when you are using her BT attack, it turns into the 10 hit dark AOE magic blade plus uh, yeah, Magic Brave plus single target HP attack dealt twice. It increases the Brave potency by a tremendous amount. It increases the max Brave damage cap by 200%. Or, uh, excuse me, by 200%. Originally, it was at 50%. Now, it is at 250%. Wow. They, they really want to make sure that Shantoro is doing 
a good amount of brave damage against the enemies. Uh, increases the max obtainable brave and max HP damage cap kappa by 320%. Originally at 80, and now it is at 300. Uh, yeah, originally. Yeah, okay. Uh, at one out of three, it gives her an extra turn during burst mode. At two out of three, it adds the following party effects to the burst effect. It extends the duration of one action, so up to six actions now for the burst effect. It improves the max brave damage cap up effect by 30%, now up to 50%, and the party receives a, uh, a dark enchant. And then finally, at 3 out of 3, you get an extra uh, BT attack uh, to her. So, not too shabby. Um, the, the changes that she got out of her uh, out of her LD especially is nice. I do like the fact that they gave her that extra uh, attack for Shantoto, which is nice. And then uh, with her BT+, plus, I mean, you know, Dark and Jack, I really don't think... I don't think she originally had that. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. But I don't think she had the ability to... Um, to have Dark Chan, but I do love that 100% weakness brave damage delta. That is really, really solid on her. Um, you know, even just throwing a book at her would actually, you know, it would not not be a bad idea because you get all of this out of just throwing one book at her too. But it would be nice to have her at least, at least at two out of three. But of course, obviously, you know, we want, we want to have uh, BT units or BT plus units maxed out because you want to take advantage of that, of having two of these same burst effects. So, uh, but yeah, no, uh, looking pretty solid. Shantoto is definitely looking pretty solid. I expect 40 to have his Shantoto uh, at three out of three. I'm going to add him on Twitter for that. <laughs> all right. Now, for Payne's LD weapon, which is called the, the Master Sword. Really? Okay. Legend of Zelda reference there. All right. So, I'm not going to go over... I'm not going to go over everything because a lot of this information I, I have already mentioned earlier this morning in a separate video, which I will put down in the pinned comment for this video if you want to check that out. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through every single thing again because it's it's a whole lot and it, it was confusing at first for a lot of people and I tried and I simplified it as much as I can and it seems like it's um, it has helped a lot. But the one thing that, that I do want to, uh, to add on to this is that <clears throat> um, she grants herself a six action of the three stacks dress fear special effect to herself, and she enables the full throttle while her LD is equipped. Uh, also, for the full throttle, she actually gives herself some, some buffs with that full throttle buff. So she gets a 100% crit rate up. The HP damage dealt up is based on the number of debuffs for targets or 5% per debuff. And that, of course, you know, that that's so I'm, like I said, I'm not going to get into that uh, part. You guys can like either watch the video or, or uh, you can join a discord. So if you want to look at all this info, 30% uh, brave damage dealt up and 30% brave gained from brave damage up to targets afflicted with the status break, which you are able to inflict uh, with e uh, excuse me, with her skill one. Um, one other thing that I wanted to know with pain, let me see if I can find it real quick. Da, 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 Let's see. Oh, so when party members on the right. Okay. So yeah, this is one important thing that I want to mention. So if you, so when party members on the right grant a buff, a total of two times, it increases the right side effects by one stack with max stacks of five. So basically both characters that is next to pain on the right side of pain have to grant themselves. Well, I guess like the party, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even, it doesn't even have to be for the party. It can, it can be for themselves as well. Um, but they have to grant themselves uh, a buff, at least one buff to be able to increase it by one. So, which, I mean, nowadays is not too, too difficult, but I mean, that also depends on which units you are going to be bringing alongside with pain. And then, of course, the same thing goes as well whenever you are, when you have her on the right side and you have uh, two teammates on her left. Whenever uh, party members on the left inflicts a debuff a total of two times, um, it inflicts the, uh, or increases the, uh, her left stack or the, like the, uh, the debuff stack on her LD icon. So, uh, yeah, so you don't have to inflict, uh, uh, two debuffs at the same time. You just got to inflict a debuff at least twice so that you can get an increase on the stack. So, uh, that's, uh, one thing that I did want to clarify with everybody, uh, her rework. 
So Pain's uh, crystal level 55, the break attack extend, when you are using her break attack, it turns into a six hit melee Bray plus HP attack dealt twice with an increase to Bray potency, thank God. And on the last HP attack, she deals 20% HP splash damage to non-targets. Uh, her crystal level 60 awakening, the Black Sky Extend. She gets an extra two usage to her Black Sky ability. When you are using Black Sky, it turns into a three hit AOE range brave plus single target HP attack dealt three times. Uh, she also got an increase in brave potency when attacking a single target. Of course, increases brave damage dealt by 60%, nothing new. And on her last HP attack, uh, she deals 20% splash HP damage to non-targets. Uh, also, one thing that I forgot to note that I mentioned in my pull video earlier is that uh, Leo did get his crystal level 80 awakening. And, and it's funny because like the banner in the in the uh, in an in-game notice uh, in JP, <laughs> they, have, they have him solo, which I think is pretty funny. I, I, I'll put a timestamp for this as well for, uh, for those who are curious. But yeah, he did get a crystal level 80 finally. Um, so yeah, his uh, awakening level of 75, his call ability for his precision strike ability. He recovers brave to, to the party based on his own attack. And it is a four hit melee brave plus HP attack. And it inflicts two actions of his precision strike debuff to the target. And it cancels the precision strike inflicted previously on different targets. So, uh, the other stuff that right here, whenever you're using his, uh, uh, a call with brave attacks, it increases the brave damage dealt towards a single target. And then his crystal level 80 awakening, it allows for 150% brave max brave overflow. And it extends the base duration of precision strike by two actions. So it'll be uh, a four turn debuff uh, or four turn action precision strike debuff on whatever enemy it is that you are targeting. Now, we're going to go into Machina. And again, I know this is a lot of information. And, you know, like I said, I, I want to make sure that you guys uh, know exactly what's going on with uh, all of these changes that these, that these three, well, I guess three and a half, <laughs> if you want to count Leo, because, I mean, the only thing he got was a Crystal Waking and a Call Ability. Um, so, uh, but anyways. Machina's rework, his crystal level 55, his awakening extend, he got an extra two usage to his uh, skill, uh, what is it, is it skill one? Yeah, skill one. So now it has a max usage of seven. When you're using awakening, before the brave attack, he recovers brave to himself based on 100% of his own attack. It increases the total brave hits to four, increase in brave potency, and it will not add to the total tone count except for burst mode, summon phase, friend support. When you are using Furious Blades after you use his uh, his uh, skill one, before the first Brave attack, he recovers Brave to himself based on 70% of his own attack. Turns into a two-hit melee Brave plus HP attack dealt two times now. Nice. Uh, and then when breaking a target or attacking a broken target, it knows, nullifies the action delay. When you are using his uh, plus version, bef uh, before the, let's see, it's the same thing. Um, the only difference is that he fills his uh, his EX gauge by 20%. Uh, let's see here. He extends the duration of his own active buffs by one. Ooh, I like that. And then after his first HP attack, he recovers Brave to himself based on 20% of the HP damage dealt. Okay, so that's that's like the difference between uh, the plus version and just the normal version uh, for that one. His uh, Crystal Level 60 Awakening, his Cyclone, yeah, Cyclone Drive Extend. He gets an extra two usage, so now it has a max usage of 10. Ooh. Uh, when you are using his ability before his Brave attack, he breaks the target and recovers Brave to himself based on 100% of his own attack. He breaks a target. Huh. So does that mean the target has to be broken already for him to re-break them? Or, or does it matter how much Brave he has and he just automatically breaks them? That's, that's interesting that they added that for him. But you know what? I'll take it. It turns into a three hit melee brave plus HP attack dealt two times. On his last HP attack, he deals 20% splash damage, uh, HP damage to non targets. It increases the brave recovered based on the HP damage dealt by 20%, now up to 50%. His LD board, 
his fear of loss extend. When you are using stunning slash, it extends the base duration of his spiral. Yeah, his spirals uh, linchpin by two actions now up to six. It adds the following effects to his piercing power buff. He gives himself a 20% max brave up, a 40% brave damage dealt up, and then when breaking a target or attacking a broken target, it increases to 80%. Nice. Um, he gets a 20% HP damage dealt up and a 30% brave gain effect up. It adds the following effects to the uh, spirals linchpin. It triggers a follow-up attack after target aff uh, afflicted with the spirals lynch flit axe. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, let's see here. Now, this is a Payne's LD call. Uh, da, 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 da. I Okay, so the caller affects, uh, the caller gets a 100% crit rate up and 30% brave damage dealt up and 30% brave gain from brave damage up to afflicted targets with status break. Okay, interesting. All right, I don't know. I guess they kind of put everything in in, uh, in crazy orders. Uh, anyways. <clears throat> His, uh, his BT weapon, Machina's BT weapon, is an 8-hit AoE melee break plus AoE HP attack dealt twice, and it deals splits HP damage. When attacking a single target, 60% brave damage uh, dealt, nothing new. Uh, after his first HP attack, he recovers brave to himself based on 50% of the total HP damage dealt. He, oh, excuse me, yeah, HP damage dealt. Uh, max brave damage cap up to 200% or 29,997. Max obtainable brave and max HP damage cap up up to 400% or four, basically 500k. Um, it triggers the following burst effects for, for eight actions. So while his awakening buff is active, his HP attack turns into the Furious Blade Burst, which is what you guys saw in the showcase where he was doing some stupid damage. It increases by one stack each time Machina attacks an enemy with a max stacks of three. And this is for once per turn. The party effects are based on the stack count. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the party effects from his BT effect. So stolen and recovered brave overflow. So at one stack, 15%, 30%, and then 45% at max stacks. HP damage dealt up 10%, 20%, and 30%, depending on what, the amount of stacks. And then max obtainable brave and max HP damage cap up. Now 10%, 20%, and then 30%. Okay, okay. So when I, when I saw the showcase, I was worried that he was going to be a, a, a selfish burst a selfish DPS burst effect type of guy. Uh, but no, that's not the case. He gets that busted Furious Blades burst attack, and he is still providing some very good effects to the party, which is great. Okay, I'm happy about that. Yeah, because that's what I was worried about. Because, like, you know, obviously with burst effects, like, you would want to, the party to have, like, something. Like, you want them to get something out of it, right? But, uh, and that's that was my biggest concern was just that. Now, his Furious Blades Burst Attack, it recovers Brave to himself based on 100% of his own attack. Okay, so definitely we got to give him some attack spheres, uh, uh, attack 108 and 1 out to take advantage of his uh, Brave Recovery. It is a 2-hit melee Brave plus HP attack dealt 7 times. It allows for 120% Stolen Brave, Max Brave Overflow. After each except for his last HP attack, he recovers Brave to himself based on 20% of the total HP damage dealt, which, which is the reason why he was he was doing so much damage in that showcase. It extends the duration of his own active bus by one, and it has a high action delay. I like it. Now his BT+, plus, when you throw a book at him, his Light of the Future Force limit up. When he, when using Light of the Future, it increases the Brave potency by a tremendous amount, increases Brave damage cap by 180%, now up to 200%. It increases the max obtainable Brave and max HP damage cap by 380%. Originally 20%, now it is at 400%. Uh, at one out of three, you get an extra turn during the burst mode. At two out of three, the Light of the Future buff up, it improves the Stolen and Recovered Brave Overflow burst effects. The Stolen and Recovered Brave Overflow uh, originally was at 10, 20, 30. Now it's at 15, 30, and 45. Nice. 
Okay. Ah, um, yo, it would have been so much better. His plus effect would have been nastier if that would have also improved the other three things that I mentioned earlier, the HP damage cell and the max Otanimo and max HP damage cap up. Oh, that would be a nasty, nasty uh, burst effect to combine with other BT effects. Ho, ho, ho. Um, when you are using Furious Blade Burst, before the first Brave attack, he recovers Brave to himself based on 100% of his own attack. He increases Brave potency by a tremendous amount, and then after each except for his last HP attack, he recovers Brave to himself based on 20% of the total HP damage now. And then finally, at 3 out of 3, he unlocks his BT ability. So Machina, Machina is looking very spicy. Like he, he, Jesus, this, this guy with just his BT is going to be doing tremendous amount of damage that it's going to be stupid. <laughs> it's going to be freaking insane. Um, but the nice, uh, aside from that, cause I mean, you know, I, I know that is like a big thing about him now is his BT, uh, ability now and the, uh, the, the furious blaze burst. Um, <coughs> excuse me. No, but aside from that, I do like the changes that they gave him uh, with his rework because he really needed some strong changes uh, to his kit. Because, like, you know, if they would have kept him the same, he wouldn't. I don't. I don't see. I wouldn't. Ha I don't think I'd see a lot of people possibly using him because, like, you at, at this point in time where we are adding Lufenia Plus on JP, like, you want to make sure that. Um, you audition damage at this point because, like, with all the shenanigans we're gonna have to put up with, um, you gotta make sure that uh, you have all of these extra things now. And the changes that they made to Machina uh, really makes they like they really wanted to wanted him to make sure that he does damage. And believe like outside, if you don't if you don't look at his uh, at uh, his uh, BT. Like, if you look at his rework and what he got, like, yeah, they made sure that that the boy is gonna be doing some damage, and I'm glad they did that they made all of the changes to uh, to Machina. Uh, and then afterwards with Pain again, like, I'm not gonna go through every single thing, but I am glad that when when you are trying to increase the stacks, uh, whenever you're trying to uh, increase the buffing stack. Um, it, it, it's it's pretty easy to try to get that up there now. I'm trying to figure out, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to figure out, um, it seems like, and I'm going to assume this is how it's going to work because I was talking about it with somebody else in the comment section of my, uh, my pain video, but it seems like these stacks do not decrease. I could be wrong on that. And you, you know, you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you have, um, if you have experienced pain or have already tested her out or have found out anything else about her. Uh, based off of uh, other players' experiences, but from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like it decreases because it doesn't say anything where you know it it like it like goes down or anything like that. So uh, I'm not entirely sure on that. You know, kind of take that with a grain of salt because I don't want to all of a sudden like hear people like you said this and that and you was wrong. <laughs> so. Uh, but no, I'm glad that the way to be able to increase the stacks is not that difficult at all. And then, of course, with Shantoro, Shantoro, <laughs> Shantoro they, they made sure, uh, uh, similar to uh, Makina, they made sure that uh, she was going to be doing a lot of brave damage and some strong brave damage. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I am pretty happy with, uh, with all of the changes, and I cannot wait to play around with uh, all three of these characters and experience them for my own and kind of show you guys all the shenanigans that we got going on in JP Opera Omnia. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video.